Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Shelly Geigel with JNS Hobbies and Crafts and I made me a Christmas album this year and this was using the Prima Christmas in the Country paper collection, the 12 by 12 size. And then I had I had bought some new dies from the store that came in, so I used it in there. So this is totally 3D. And up here, these are dimensional as well, kind of poke out in the awning and everything. And you can grab Rudolph and open it up. And I haven't put anything in here. What I'm going to end up doing is putting the dates of the Christmas photos that are in my album. I did add this little naughty and nice little list to him. I thought that was cute. Now because this is such a dimensional album, what I ended up doing is adding some thickness, building out on the spine and the back with some chipboard. And why I did that was because if I didn't, because this is so uh, thick, what would have happened is my album laying flat like this, it wouldn't have been able to come down very well. So what I did was I added like a half inch here and also on the back. And I just kind of made that into like an envelope, magnetic. And I have a pencil in here for journaling and some of my uh, tags and stuff like that. So that's what I ended up doing here so that when I open up this album it will lay flat. On the back what I did was it's chipboard, it's thick, it's half inch and made like an envelope. And in here I just have some extra little picture mats and tag stuff I still need to mount. But this uh, album is quite large. Uh, it measures 10 and 3 quarters inch tall and it is nine and a quarter inch wide and the width of my spine is about two and three quarters. So this was uh, just an inspiration I got last minute when I started making this. Boy, I want to make something dimensional and I thought it came out super cute. So we're going to go on to the inside and as you can see with that thicker thing it helps the album lay flat. Um, what I did here was I put some of the acetate over or underneath this paper cutout, but what I have here is, and over here, is I use the Hartfell Creations booklet frames, which is right here, and then what I used was the booklet basics for the paper on the inside, and when I had die cut out, it had left me this shape, so I used it. It was like totally perfect. So I can, this is a fold out, and I can get my photo back behind, and I didn't put anything in there. I'm gonna put a four by six in there. And um, anyway, it just kind of opens up, and there's a space for me to put a photo, and I can put one down here. And up here is a little tuck area for picture mats and tags. And we just got this die in, and it's the Spellbinders. Great, uh, graceful damask and I use both of those in here I was really giddy about the new dies like I always get but this created a little pocket tuck and I just put some stuff in here in my picture mat so uh, I had a lot of fun with that anyway over here with the booklet basics and the booklet frames uh, die cut what I did was I die cut the largest one and I made it into a park pocket and then I die cut several of the booklet basic size that fits on this. So I can put picture after picture in here, as you can see, for my smaller pictures. And I just kind of fastened it with a couple brads, so it's kind of cool. And I made it into a pocket, like I just said. And I've got my picture mats back in there, and... Uh, so I uh, really enjoyed working with this paper, and I know a lot of you have purchased it, so you'll have a lot of fun too. I wish they had a little more in the way of design. They give you four of each design, I believe, in there, or three, yeah, four. Four of each design and stuff. So, and I, this album was so large. The, this is eight and a quarter inch by eight inch. And I, I should have bought a second paper pack for the things I wanted to do. And I started running short on paper towards the end. So I couldn't do everything I wanted to do. But, um, 
Anyway, this will make a great album for myself this year, and I just wanted to share it with you, maybe get a little inspiration for yours. Okay, so this die. This is the Spellbinders uh, Tranquil Moments, and I used it over the paper, and I made it into a little fold out here. I can place a photo. Here's another one of those little booklet dies. And I made this into like a little pocket. And I just got some folders in here, a little tag. This here is the acetate, and I can actually slip a photo back behind, slide it on in there. And then behind this, I can slide my picture mats. So lots of uh, options here for me to work with, and uh, I just had a lot of fun doing it. So over here I have uh, two fold-outs, and when you fold it out I got places for photos, and then this die here is new, and I really like that look, and that's there. And I just made a very large pocket for me to store my picture mats. So that's what I did there. Stick that all back in there. And going to the next page, again I used the cutout from one of those booklet die cuts. And this is where I can slide my photo back behind, my little 4x6, and fold it out. And I can place a photo right here or cover it up. I like using patterned paper for matting for my pictures because I get the decorated paper mounted um, along like the framing of it. So uh, that's why I felt like I really needed more paper to do exactly what I wanted, but I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with what I did here. So here is a large pocket for the side, and I got a couple picture mats in there. Over here, I used the little booklet again. I really like that. And I've created a pocket, and I just stuck some smaller things in there. So, and then this just holds back behind with that. This folds out, and I just have a lot of places just to plant my photos. Next page. Okay, so this is one of those acetate little windows that you can slide in and out a photo, and I made that. Up here is a little tuck area. I have a small little picture mat and another little folder that I had going there. Um, over here is a fold out and I have a tuck area and I can place a photo here and then one on here and just kind of slide it on in there. And here is a double pocket I made. So just some photo mats stuck on in there. get back behind there just slide that there for now this one I left alone I can just plant photos and then coming to the last pages this is just a large fold out and I place photos in here and this folds out at an angle more photos and then I put another one of these and I can journal right here and I just made it into a pocket And coming to the last page, I have a very large waterfall to where I can get four by six photos on there. And this is this die here is part of that Spellbinders Tranquil Moments uh, die set. So, and I just kind of did that, and um, I had to conserve on paper, so I kind of just kind of did the little bit at the bottom. You probably see that ha uh, a lot. Uh, a lot of crafters do that, and had I had more paper, I probably I would have uh, put large size. So that is my project share, the Christmas album I made for myself. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you real soon at the YouTube Hop. Happy crafting!